We've had another senseless school shooting in Georgia today. Two teachers were killed and two students were killed by a 14-year-old kid. This incident will be politicized, prayers will be offered, and it will be thrown under the rug. So let me start my political foray right now. You know, there is a thing in this country called the preamble. And it goes something like this. We the people, in order to form a more perfect union, to establish justice and ensure domestic tranquility, to provide for the common defense, to promote the general welfare, and then secure the blessings of liberty for ourselves and our posterity. I'm going to stop right there. It seems that when it says that we want to secure the blessings of liberty, for ourselves. We have to take care of ourselves first in order to take care of what's most important. And that's our kids. No matter how you want to spin it, no matter how scared you are to talk about it, we have a problem with guns and gun violence in our country. And especially the availability of guns. And when you look at the way our kids have access to guns, you have to ask the question. And that question is, have we as a society gotten to a point where we can't handle gun ownership? And if you can't protect your kids while they're in school, maybe that's a valid question. When you watch the interviews and you notice the kids, the way they talk so matter-of-factly about the incident. Like they're not even rattled. It's just a, another day at school. Really something to talk about, gossip about, and possibly laugh about. Our kids, in their young minds, reflect the fact that we live in a state of terror. And to them, because they're young, it's laughable. I don't know what they're going to do, but I do know this. They can pass all the laws that they want, but there is no way you will ever be able to regulate the mind. Every single person, including me, that owns a gun in this country is one decision away from being on the other side of the law. You know, since I was a little boy, it seems like the more liberal society has become. And I'm not using it in a bad way or a political way. I'm just saying the times and the changes. So the more liberal that society has become, the more liberties we have given up. Look at the schools now in the inner city. They all look like jails. You can't even go to church now and feel safe. You walk around your neighborhoods, they look like prisons in the inner city. And guess what? It's coming to a neighborhood near you.